Hi everyone, we've been making booktube videos for going on three months now, which isn't a super long time in comparison to some booktubers, but it's it's long for us because we're new. Today we wanted to talk about five of the ways that booktube or being a booktubers has changed our lifestyle since we started. The first thing we've noticed is the type of books that we are reading, how they've changed. The genres of books I've been reading, I've tried sci-fi, which I haven't finished yet, but I'm, I'm going to. I've branched out more into high fantasy, which I already know is not my favorite, but I want to read it because I want to learn from it. And I've also gotten to try some authors that I've heard about, learned about, and I've wanted to read their books and see what, see what the excitement for them is about. So I've gotten to experience new things as far as my reading goes. Although for me it hasn't really changed a whole lot, I do find that I'm reading more books of genres other than fantasy. I used to just almost primarily read fantasy because it was, um, those were the stories that I wanted to read. I wanted to read all these other ones too, but I really wanted to read the fantasy. But because of what we're doing and how we're doing it, I've kind of become a little bit more well-rounded and um, better balanced in my reading of the different genres. One thing that I have, I have a mental list of books that I need to read, but I'm not planning on in the foreseeable future. Mm -hmm. And those are books that aren't appealing to me, but they're either classics or just some book that I think I'll enjoy the, the end result, having read it, the, the finishing of it. Yeah. So I've gotten through four of those books since I've started BookTube, and that's really exciting for me to look back. I, it makes me proud. I'm like, wow, I did that, even though it's really minor. <laughs> The second thing we've noticed is how booktube is changing how frequently we read. I tend to read in spurts, I'll, depending on my mood or my schedule, my busyness, I'll read a whole bunch at once and then for months at a time I'll go without hardly picking up a book. Maybe it's because I got stuck in a difficult book or I don't know. I also find that I read less when I'm writing more, which is an interesting dynamic. I feel like it's a little odd that that's the case. So I used to... I'm very similar to Kate in that I used to read pretty sporadically. I mean, when I would read, I would read a lot, and I'd read for three months or whatever, and then I'd stop, and I'd take a break for a month and a half, two months, three months, four months, and then I'd pick, start reading again. Now with BookTube and having to read for making videos and whatnot, I've had to make sure that I make time every day for reading. I don't always take a lot of time every day, but I try and make sure that I'm reading every day so that I can actually be continually making progress through my TBR even though I have yet to finish a TBR for the month. <laughs> but we can say for sure that it's helped us be more consistent readers. Yeah, yeah. The third way that we found BookTube changing our lives is that it changes how we uh, think about and how we digest what we read. I used to read simply and solely for the enjoyment of the book. Uh, that's part of why I was so stuck in only books I knew I would love because I just wanted to read for fun. It's a really fun pastime. You get to live in another world, experience another story without actually having to go through the terrible things that we put our characters through. <laughs> but now I read for more than just fun. I read so that I can update you guys on what, what I'm loving in books, what I'm disliking, what I'm learning from them. Uh, you know, we, we film for a vlog three times a week. That's something we keep in mind every time I pick up a book or I set down a book rather. Okay, what did, what stood out to me today that I can discuss with you guys? And then if I'm reading for a review, a book review, it's a whole nother level. I have to consider, we have to consider all the five elements of story building that we've discussed in previous videos in detail. We think about those a lot so that we can talk to you about that. And it doesn't take the fun out of reading for me at all. It I think it makes it more enriching, especially with the difficult books that aren't as fun. But it is another layer. It's it's a challenge and it's more work in a way. Enriching is a good way to put it. I didn't think of that specific word, but yeah, it's very true. I myself no longer simply like read the book. I, I used to read them for the characters and the stories and that was really about it. I mean, I, I loved good stories and I still do. But now like Kate, I read them and I'm forced to look more critically at them and to think about the writing style and how the characters are developed and all these different story elements that come together to make a story great or to make a story fall short. The fourth way we've noticed booktube changing us, and it's a little bit oddly put, is the funness of reading. How, how I guess maybe more how enjoyable reading is to us, how fun it is. Because it used to be a pastime, a hobby, something we did for fun, and now it's a little bit different as we 
are, have already discussed. I like to read, but what I loved more than reading is finishing a book, having completed that journey. And because of booktube, I have been able to finish more and more books. That was a problem that I had. I would have a stack of unfinished <laughs> tales. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Lord of the Rings reference, or Tolkien reference. Eh? So I'm, I may not be finding favorite books left and right with this. I'm finishing more, and that sense of accomplishment is really satisfactory. Although I'm still having a ton of fun reading, it's fun in a different way. I find that because I actually have to push through books in order to ensure the completion in a timely manner and whatnot, I don't quite get as much out of the stories as I would if I was just reading them just because I wanted to read them. But I'm also learning different things and getting different things out of them because I'm looking at them as a reviewer and as a critic in many ways rather than just a viewer. That being said, I always look forward to reading. It's absolutely one of my favorite parts of the day, right there along with food time and bedtime. Food time and bedtime? <laughs> what, are you seven? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> no, but same for me. The fifth and final way that we've found our lives being shifted and changed after having started booktube is in our actual lifestyle itself. One thing that I was actually concerned about when we started booktube is the pressure of having a TBR. Pressure and deadlines make me productive, but they also make me very stressed, and I was concerned that saying, oh, I have to read these specific four books this month would be really stressful and take the fun out of it because so much stress would be added. Um, it's not been like that for me so far, partially because I try and pick books, at least a few books in my TBR that I know I'll really love, and also I'm trying to accept the fact that if I don't get through a TBR, it's okay. I'll either push it off to the next month, I'll get, I'm not gonna give up on those books just because I didn't read them within the allotted time, but I, I'm trying to be okay with not completing my goals, which I don't understand how that could be okay. But that's not what I'm not trying to have arguments with myself here on camera for you. But yeah, I mean, it's changed our lifestyle a lot. We devote time twice a week to film vlogs, at least once a week to film our videos, uh, we edit on a regular basis. Tony does most of the editing, I do the editing for the vlogs. That takes more time than you'd think, especially when you're learning how to use it, which we both had to do and our, I'm still learning a lot. It takes and, me a long time still. And along with that, we also do our reading. We try and keep up with our reading. That's really challenging, because now we have this list of, I don't want to put it as chores, but chores is, as in the sense things we have to get done. To-do list. There we go, that's a mm -hmm. little little more friendlier. Booktube isn't really a chore for us. But we have a to-do list relating to booktube and getting our videos up on time. And reading is a whole other layer of that. It's the most important layer. And working that into the schedule is really difficult. Can yeah. be really difficult. I knew before I started booktube that it was going to be a major undertaking and it was going to take a lot of time. Kate didn't, she <laughs> says, but I did. And so I was expecting it, and while I did take it upon myself and I forced myself into doing it, it still is a lot of work, and it's it's fun work, absolutely, but it, it takes a lot of devotion yeah. in order to be willing to, okay, I have to sit down and write a video, or I have to film a video, or I have to edit a video, mm -hmm. or I have to get it uploaded so that it's up at 9.30 Alaska time every week, every Monday and Thursday, because we want it to, we want to succeed we want to do good we want to bring the content to you guys and so we have to set aside time to edit and film and everything that has to do with booktube and youtube and making videos it takes a lot of our time i mean if i could devote all that time to reading i would be a lot happier but then i couldn't discuss the books like I do. Mm -hmm. Which is the reason we started, because yeah. we wanted to do more than just read. And so, yeah, while I did take this upon myself and I forced myself into it, it has been a good experience so far, and I would love to have that free time to do whatever I want. I would love to watch TV shows and movies, because I'm a film and theater nerd, and I love that stuff as much as I love reading, but I've committed my time to this already, and I can't break that commitment. So that is a huge way it's changed my life. We've been talking for quite a while now about our to-do lists and all the things we have to do to get a YouTube channel up, and I just wanted to clarify that this is a choice we made and we're happy with it right now. Yeah. This isn't something we're doing unwillingly or because we feel like we have to keep a commitment because we started something and we got to finish it. Yeah. That's not what we're going. What we're saying is it's changed our lives in a really big way, and for me that was an unexpected way. Tony had a little better grasp of what he was getting into, what we are getting into. 
but it's not something that I don't think either of us regret at this point. I don't think so either. It's given us the ability to grow and become better at doing things like time management, which is a huge plus. So it's, it is a good thing and I'm not, I, I hope we didn't sound like we were complaining in this last section because that's not what it was meant to be. Thanks for watching, we hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please like it if you did, and if you're a booktuber, comment down below and tell us how booktube has changed your life. And if not, just comment down below with what you thought of this video. Don't forget to check out our Instagram and uh, stay warm, guys. <laughs>